We're back on here, y'all, talking about a. Uh, well, the title of folks giving up, people feeling like they want to give up on business. Uh, but today I did something interesting. I um went to an event that was uh, it was a workshop and it was for people who were looking for interns for their business. And it was really cool because I didn't, I had no idea that you could put, um, that you could, you had so many options when it came to bringing people into your business. Like I legit had no idea that there is more than just internships and you have the options to use different, um, different forms of like these internship, these what is it? Work-based um, learning opportunity. So they had like externships, internships. Um, they had a uh, man. It was a whole lot of them. I got a whole list, a whole list of the the different things that you could do. But I thought that that was cool because I I've been feeling like this year and just like moving forward, I don't feel like I can do it all by myself, business wise. And if I'm being honest. If I have to, if I had to go through this year trying to do everything in business by myself again, I wouldn't make it like, just like straight up, I would not be able to survive. I would not be able to, I wouldn't be able to keep going. And so, um, seeing like that there's options to bring in, um, to bring in help, but also offer value for them, for them to learn and to be able to be in a space where they can, like get these skills that will help them to get the careers that they want and start the businesses that they want. And so I thought that that was dope. Uh, and it was like me taking another step towards what I said that I wanted to do this year, which is building an internship program, bringing in people to learn social media management and marketing, uh, branding, um, influencer, like influencing, being an influencer, all of those different aspects of media and marketing, I want to be able to teach people how to do that and um, in different ways, not just people who are uh, clients or people who like purchase from me, but also in the in the internship and like a in a giving capacity. So it just got me really excited thinking about that stuff. And I feel like if that's one thing that I know a lot of people are struggling with is that they feel like they're doing it all by themselves. But that's not even really what I came on here to talk about. And I thought that that was cool because that's what I did today. Um, and I'm excited because I peopled. I actually went out <laughs> and I was in public with other people. And so it was just nice to be like in the community again and be involved with other people. But we're going to get onto the topic because um, I kind of wanted to be... I don't want it to be I don't want it to be too long, but I do want to I just want to talk about it. So I'm going to be doing a a branding, a branding. Well, there's two things I'll be doing. It's going to be a branding cohort. Thank you for the likes. It's going to be a branding cohort. So I'm going to help business. I'm going to help um, brands solidify their brand, come up with a brand profile um, and help them to put together a product or a service in six weeks. That's the goal. That's the plan. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going to be doing. And so I'm excited because I have this whole, um, like curriculum outlined, um, all the things that we're going to talk about, you know, all the, the little details that you probably don't care about right now, but you're probably more interested in why it matters. And that is, a, that plays a big part into people feeling like they want to give up in business. And I'm excited to talk about it. So we, this conversation came up um, earlier this week, and the question was, Do are you at a place where you feel like you want to give up on your business, or what advice, hey Cardi, what advice would you give to somebody who, who feels like they're ready to give up on business? And this can be for, there's a few people um, that this is for, but the people that I think that this particular question and this space is for is for the people who have um, started something, right? Like maybe it doesn't feel like a full fledged business, but you know that you have like bits and pieces of what you want to do. And you have like, um, you see like, you can kind of see what where you want to take it. 
and what you want to do with it, but you don't know, um, you, it doesn't feel clear, like it feels fuzzy, but you've been putting in work, right? Like you feel like you've been putting out content, you've been talking to people about what you do, but it doesn't feel like it's all connecting. Like it still feels like, I don't get it. Like, I don't feel like I'm all the way moving in what I'm supposed to do. And so that is a big part of why people give up because they feel like, I don't know what, I don't know where to go. Like, this doesn't feel like it has a direction and I'm getting frustrated because I know that I have something valuable, but I don't know like where to take it. Thank you, Cardi. I don't know where to take it. And that is a very frustrating place to be because a lot of the times we're so focused working in our business and, you know, doing the work that we don't have like an outside set of eyes that's going to help us to, hey, Mr. James, that's going to help us to like make it make sense or even help us to point out the, the, the gaps and the holes that we have in our businesses. And so what this does is that it creates um, experiences in our hearts, right? Um, and we're going to get into like the emotions of it all because it does play a big role in how we show up, what we do with our businesses, who we are in general. So this is what happens. You have, we're going to use me as an example. <clears throat> For years, I've known that I am, I've known that I, I'm um, meant to be in the fashion field in some way, right? I know that fashion is a part of who I am. But then I also realized, wait a minute, I'm also good at social media. I have some marketing things going on. I'm good at branding. Wait a minute, like, I'm really like, I'm an influencer. And so when you think about that, you're like, what, what in the world? Like, how do I have all of these different things that I feel like I'm good at, but they don't, they don't make sense together. Like they don't make sense as a, as a business, right? This, this is where, this is the part where people don't have a brand. And so like, I kind of want to do like an umbrella, like that's what it makes me think about, like an umbrella. And so you think about it, like at the top of at the top of the umbrella, you would have like your brand, right? So for me, Jada West is my brand. So there's Jada West, but then under the umbrella, there's all of these different aspects, these different groups, um, different niches, you know, different areas of interest that still serve a purpose but I don't understand how to make them make sense because in my mind, I'm thinking very like linear. Like if you are good at fashion, you should be a fashion designer, right? That's what you think. Or you should have a fashion line or you should be a stylist. And we like segment ourselves and put, our, put us into like these little pockets. Um, but what that does, that doesn't allow us to be ourselves fully and it limits our, our possibilities and our capabilities. And ultimately, it leads us to a place where we feel burnt out. We feel like we don't, we feel unfulfilled, right? Because it's not, it's not the totality of what we're supposed to do. And so that is um, a big thing that I see happen. And the, the thing that's missing is that you didn't under, you don't understand your brand and who you are, and you don't understand how to make those pieces make sense for you, for what you do, for who you are, for the brand itself. And the great thing about having a brand and having like a, in business, sometimes they call it a parent company, is that you can have subsidiaries. So you can be, I could be Jada West, and then I can have my, my community call for trendsetters only, right? Which can be a space for influencers to learn about branding, marketing, get the skills they need to build their businesses, um, their creative businesses, right? Creative entrepreneurs. But then I also have styling because that goes into branding, imaging, who you are, what you do, um, how you show up rather. That's another part of what I do. And then I also have like another space where I, I service people one-on-one, -on -one, private clients, right? That's still all a part of Jada West. That's under the umbrella of Jada West. And then even with that, you can have products. I can have products. I can sell robes because I'm always in a robe on live because I change out of my clothes by like 830. <laughs> but I'm always on live with that. Or I, I could sell, you know, jewelry. I could sell bags and that can still be a part of my brand or it can be its own business, but it is under Jada West. But if I only was thinking fashion, then I wouldn't be able to have those opportunities and those options that like open it up to more. 
And so that's one of the things that I, I see that's like lacking, right? That's what's missing. Now, the other thing that I was getting to and I got distracted from is that when we have tried things and they don't work out, it creates experiences in our heart where we have felt disappointment. We felt discouraged. We felt like we failed. And when we have those opportunities and maybe you've been trying something for a long time, like I mean a long time, maybe you have been trying to do this for two, three, four, five years, like you've really been trying to put in work to get this thing going and you kept having like, you know, hit after hit after hit after hit where it's just like this is not working and I am so frustrated. I don't even have the capacity to keep trying anymore. That's how I feel right now. I don't feel like I want to try again. I don't want to make it. I don't want to launch another project. I don't want to launch another product. I don't want to start that line again. I don't want to keep making content. I don't want to reach out to people for brand deals and partnerships and sponsorships because I keep getting rejected. I keep getting told no. It keeps flopping. No one's listening. No one, it feels like nobody cares what I'm doing. I feel like I'm doing the wrong thing. And all of this stuff um, creates these experiences in our heart where it makes us afraid to try again. Now tell me, who, who's been there? Who's been there? I see a yup. Who else am I talking to? It, it, it's like, why, why, why should I record another video? Why should I go live again when the last time I went live, people trolled me so bad, I didn't even want to turn on my camera again. Mm? I posted this video and people said so many mean, ugly things about me. I don't even want to talk anymore. I don't want to record anything anymore. I put this product out and no one signed up. I couldn't even get somebody to share it. I see me, me, yup, yes. That's what happens. And the thing that the thing is the thing that happens, y'all, is that we know that we have to keep going logically, right? You gotta keep going. Don't give up. Don't stop. Blah 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 blah. Like that's what it starts to sound like. Blah, 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 blah. You're you're saying you're telling me things I already know, but you weren't there when this flopped. You weren't there when they said those things about me. And we have these, these disappointments and these hurts that we're holding on to that are preventing us from trying again. Because regardless of how we feel, that's the only answer is to keep trying. But we have options to figure out what maybe needs to get tweaked. What did I miss this last time that I can do this time? Was the timing just off? Can I try again? Because this timing is, this is the right timing. But the thing that's, the thing that, that requires is courage to try again. I'm seeing Cardi trans, transparent moment. When I posted my first video ever, I got picked at so bad and now I'm so hesitant. That's what happens. That stuff gets settled in our hearts and we hold on to it. And it's just like, man, I, I hear you. I see you, but I don't, I like pick somebody else, <laughs> pick somebody else. <laughs> but then we also feel like we don't feel fulfilled because we know that there's this thing that we want to do that we, we know in our hearts we want to do, but we've just been so discouraged by what happened in the past that we're afraid to keep on trying. Winslow. Hey Brody. We're afraid to keep on trying. And so, um, that is what that is what I want to bring with this community, <clears throat> with this course and with the workshop. So I have two things that are going on and both of them are going to be designed to address this problem, either in the short term or in the long term. Um, the first issue that I talked about, if you are somebody who has felt like you um, have all of these different aspects of you and these different like facets that don't make sense together, then that is what the workshop is going to be about. Drop the niche. That workshop is going to help you create your umbrella. 
so that you can take all of these different pieces and you know aspects of who you are and we're going to figure out how to make them make sense so that you can create a brand you can create something that makes sense so you could be somebody who does makeup and and food like it's possible literally i follow someone who does that <laughs> i follow someone who does that I see M. Quinn says I'm I'm trying I'm dying to create my umbrella. Then that is go get in the Discord. It's on my it's in my profile. Get in the Discord and you'll get the information when I drop the uh, link for it. Okay, so that's going to be the first group of people. You um you you want to create your umbrella, right? Umbrella people, you need to be in drop the niche. Now, if you are somebody who has been in business for a while, or you have been um I want to say. At, the, at least two years, I would say one and a half, but you know, at least two years, whether it's full time or part time, you've been doing this and you are at the place where you feel like you're ready to give up on your business. You should be a part of the branding cohort. The branding cohort is a bigger, it is a um, longer commitment It's six weeks, but it's going to take you through the branding and it's going to also help you to create the product. Because our goal with our brands, with us being online, with us creating content, is to make money. And if it's not your goal, you probably won't be interested in that. That's, that's cool. That's you. I'm not here to try to convince you to do that. But if you know you want to, you know that you need to because this is what you were created to do. This is something that you know you can, you're not going to be able to sleep if you don't fulfill this. That's what we're going to help you do because... We're going to have a multi, a, multi, a group of things, a couple of things that are going to help you feel supported in business. OK, so I'm going to tell you the things that you've been missing that are going that are going to help you to get your business going again. OK, the first thing that you're going to have is you're going to have a community of people off rip. You're going to have people who understand where you are, what you're trying to do, how you're feeling right now. And who are going to support you because you've you all have something that you can rally behind, and that's probably that's probably a big part of what you've been missing, is that you've been doing it by yourself. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to have is going to be community. Hi, hey, Ebony. The first thing that you're going to have is you're going to have community, and even if you do not join the cohort, or if you just join Drop the Niche, if you're in Discord, you have community. Period. You got people, you got me, you have a bunch of amazing people like Cardi, like Ebony that are in the group already that are people who you can feel like are your, are your people. They're your, they're your community, okay? So I don't want you to feel like you're going to be left out if you can't invest in this. But if you do want to invest, you're going to have that too. Plus, you're going to be working together on the things that we do, the stages that we go through in the cohort. So that's the first thing. The second thing that you're going to have is you're going to have another set of eyes that's going to help you see the gaps in your business. Because one of the things that we don't realize is that we're, we're, we're putting out this content, we're putting out these things, and maybe in our heads we think that we're being super clear, right? Or we think that what our video says makes sense. Or something even simpler. Maybe you don't even realize one of your links don't work. Because that's happened to me. <laughs> I was wondering why people weren't signing up like for my newsletter at one point. And they're like, Jada, I don't, I can't, like somebody had to tell me, like, I can't, your link doesn't work. Like, it's something as simple as that. People can't read the words on your video, so we can't, we don't know where to go. And then your head, you're thinking, oh, I'm the worst. I'm not good at this. Nobody likes what I'm doing. And the whole time, it was just like, no, we just don't know what to do because the content's not clear. You know, like there are some things that can be that simple, tweaks that can be that simple that can help you see more success with your, with your business, with your brand. Okay. So you're going to have another set of eyes. You're going to have accountability. You're going to have community which includes the accountability, but you're going to have community. And then you're going to have a clear direction. We're moving, like we're going to be going through this. And I just, I really just have to thank God so much because he had, he broke it down for me, literally broke it down from the top to the bottom. Like you're going to get the brand all the way down to the product. And this product is going to be catered to you and who you are and what you do. Y'all, 
Ain't nothing like it yet. Ain't nothing like it. People, when people see it, they're going to try to copy it. I already know. And that's fine. But there is nothing like it yet. I have never been in anything like this yet. Um, but you're going to... Um, you're going to have a clear direction. So one of the things that happens is that we have um, a, a plethora of information. Like you could go wherever you want. You can Google whatever you want. You can look up on, on TikTok and you can scroll on TikTok, on Teach Talk, and you can see all kinds of stuff on there that is going to give you information. But the information does not come with a roadmap. So you don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't take you from where you are to where you need to be because everyone is just marketing they're advertising so you're not supposed to be on here and get everything that you need to start your business you're supposed to be able to find the people you want to connect with so that you can learn from them you're excited cardi i am too i am really excited um and i'll, I'll say why in a second but Yes, you, you're going to have a clear direction. You're going to have a roadmap. So <clears throat> you can get a lot, of the, a lot of the steps, the tips, the tricks, the strategies. You can find all of that online. But the thing that happens is that you don't, you don't know how to organize it. And that's what happened to me. Like I, I was the DIY queen, okay? I'm, I am giving away the crown. I don't want it anymore. I do not want to do everything by myself. OK, but I would go and I would just look up stuff, um, look up information, try to go and find out things for myself. You know what? I don't want to buy that course. I don't want to invest in that coach. I'm just going to go and find it myself. And that was cute. But do you know how much time I wasted? So much time. So much time trying to figure out, OK, but how do I make all of this make sense? Like how, like this, where do I start? Like, do I start with the logo? Do I start with making the content? Do I go and get this uh, equipment first? Do I have to have a certain kind of camera? Um, some people don't even have never even heard of a brand profile before. Like what is a brand profile? How do I create content? What kind of content do I make? Those are all things you actually can have a strategy for. You don't just have to throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks. You're going to have some type of experimenting, but you're going to have a more defined and targeted like direction, you know, space to experiment because you're a more controlled environment. There we go. Science is kicking back in a more, a more controlled environment to um, to see what works and to experiment. And so um, but taking all of that, taking all of this information in, get listening to all these different people. You have everybody saying a bunch of different things, and it's not because anyone's necessarily wrong. It's just that everybody has a different experience. And so you really have to know who is speaking to you, where you are, can they help you? Do they have the tools, the expertise, the knowledge to help you? Have they gathered the information in a way that makes sense to you? Like, do you feel like they're really speaking to you? Love you, Jay. Do you feel like they're really speaking to you? You know, like f find out who those people are and just listen, listen to them, <laughs> listen to them. That's a little tangent, but right now we're going to go back to branding y'all. Sorry, it just irritates me a little bit, but yeah, that, that's what it's going to give you. It's going to give you a clear roadmap and a direction for where to go because you, you are going to save yourself so much time figuring out how to move now. And well, let's, let's look at this in terms of numbers. Let's get some numbers out there. This program is going to be six weeks. And regardless of what happens throughout this whole process in six weeks, I'm telling you, there is, you're going to know what to start with. And that's something I, I feel very confidently telling you. You are going to know what to start with for your product or for your service. Period. You're going to know. You're going to know in six weeks. Now, let's compare the six weeks to the two, one and a half to two years, three years that you have spent trying to figure it out and understand it. And in six weeks, it can be it can become clear. You can get it. It can click for you. Like this is worth it. And it makes me excited. We're going back to what Cardi said about being excited. It makes me excited because I feel like this is that that piece 
that you um, that you need to start to believe in your business again, to believe in what you can do, to believe that the promises are true. Whatever, whatever was put in your heart, whatever God placed on your heart, whatever you dreamt about when you first started. And even if it changes, just the fact that you knew I, I'm supposed to have a business. I'm supposed to have financial freedom. I'm supposed to have time for my family. I'm supposed to have um, the flexibility to work when I want to. You knew that. But life experiences have made you feel like you made a mistake. And I'm trying to tell you that you didn't. And if you can just give yourself these six weeks to try again, I promise you that you're going to see hope. You're going to be in, you're going to be not even just inspired, but you're going to be determined. Like, I want you to leave there feeling like I can see it. I can see it. It makes sense because once that clarity comes to you. Nobody can stop you. Only person that's going to be in your way is yourself. Give me so much hope. I, I, I believe in you so much, Cardi. You don't even know. I've, I've always, always believed in what you have and what you're capable of. I called you an influencer the first time we talked because you are. And you make such a huge impact on the lives of the people that you interact with. That's an influencer. That's a trendsetter. And I know that the people who are still here listening, you know that you're a trendsetter too. You're, you're meant to make impact. What you do, what you have is meant to impact people in a way that is going to change their lives. I believe that this program is going to change people's lives. I know it will. Because this will, this will be the seed. This will be the first step to believing in themselves again. And I'm looking forward to hearing the success stories of people who said, I was ready to quit. But I went through this course. I went through this cohort. And I understood my brand. I understood myself and what I was created to do. And all of a sudden, it was like the ideas started coming. The people started coming. The revenue started coming. Like it all starts to make sense once you identify who you are, what you're supposed to do and who you are talking to. So I am, I'm just, I'm excited because this is, this is the, your time. If you, if you choose to try again, if you choose to believe again, if you choose to say, you know what, those experiences have happened, but I'm not going to let them dictate the choices I make today. They're going to be, they're going to turn into the, the bios. You know, you're going to tell people, yeah, I was down and out. <laughs> I was struggling, but that's not me anymore. It's going, you're going to be talking about it in past tense. So that is, that is what the branding cohort is going to do. Um, and if you are a part of the branding cohort, drop the niche. The workshop will be included in your um, in your purchase, I guess you could say. It'll be included in there so you won't be missing out um, on Drop the Niche. So don't feel like you have to invest in both of them. You'll, you'll get that automatically um, along with one more workshop that'll be going on during that time. You'll have access to that one as well. And I'll drop that when it gets closer to the time. Hey, Tia. Um, so yeah, that'll drop close to the time, but the branding cohort, that's for the people who are like, I, I, I need this, this business, this business needs to start. Like I need to figure out how do I make money as a creative, as an influencer? What does that look like? How do we make that happen? That's what we're going to do. So, um, those are the things that we have going on that I have going on. Um, all of the access to this is going to be in discord. I am, um, yeah, I, I just want you to be in a, I want you to be in a space where you feel the love and the community, regardless of what you purchase. Okay. Um, so yeah, the links to it when it drops, um, actually going to, I think it's going to drop tomorrow. I have it set up to start enrolling people. So, um, branding cohort is going to be available tomorrow. Um, and I'll put that in discord. Thank you, Teresa. Uh, I did my workout today too, and I was out of breath. <laughs> but I did it. 
it was it was good but it was tough um it's gonna be there on friday and then drop the niche will be closer to the end of the month i gotta look at the calendar because we're kind of we're kind of getting to the end with january hey jasmine i was thinking about you the other day i want i want to um i want to see you in the uh discord I want to see you in there so I can keep up with what you're doing. Um, there's some other people from the DMV that are in the group too. So I'm I'm thinking that, you know, we can make something happen in person, which would be love. Yeah. It's going to get better. I believe you, but I also know that means work. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I'm excited. I felt strong when I was done, so... I can't say that. I felt stronger. And it did help me realize that running from accountability is indeed not cardio. Because that's what we did today. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so next week, I'll drop more information for Drop the Niche. Yeah, I'll drop more information for Drop the Niche if you are just interested in the umbrella, my umbrella people. Um, that's going to be for you. Um, and that'll be good whether you're just starting or if you are um, like if you have your if you have your business going, but you want to pivot. So you're trying to pivot and see like where to go with it, then drop the niche is good because you may not need like a um, full a full plan. You just need to know how to make that shift. So if you're um, umbrella people trying to pivot or you're just like getting started and maybe you don't want to go the product route just yet, then drop the niches for you. But um, the people who are ready to give up on your business, don't, okay? Let's do this six weeks. Let's see what we can make happen. And I'm hopeful that you won't feel that way when we're done, okay? So uh, all of that's on there. Do y'all have any questions about it? Um. Cause I haven't really, I, I dropped, I got, I asked people how they felt about it, what they were doing, um, with their businesses, but I haven't actually had a chance to do like a Q and a kind of thing. So if y'all have questions about either one, let me know what those are. Um, I have some time to answer those now. And, uh, the last thing, I feel like I'm dropping a lot of stuff in here. Y'all actually the last thing. I'm going to save that for, I'm going to save that for another day, but we're going to have a, a challenge coming up and it's going to be a free challenge. It'll be open to anybody. Um, you can join it and it'll be a, a visibility challenge, but that's going to also, the information for that's going to also be in discord. I think I'm gonna make like a channel on discord for it. So everybody that's participating can just go to their, go to that channel to, you know, talk about it and get the updates and stuff like that. CJ said, will you give tips for someone just starting their business? Yes, I will. It is actually perfect um, if you are just starting your business. There's actually a few resources in there now in Discord. Um, if you're in the community, they're free. The, the Discord is free. And so there's a channel on there called um, Business Necessities. And so I'm going to start uh, uploading different resources on there for uh, people who are looking to start their business. So um, that's going to be on there, beginner business tips. And then what I also will do is I will probably connect with uh, Mr. James because he's the, the business mind. And um, I can ask him for, you know, some type of material or um, something that maybe we, we can do. We can make that a, a topic for our podcast, especially if you have um, specific questions like, and it can be specific to your business. Um, and we can answer them on there. But uh, this, the, the branding cohort can still work for somebody who's just starting because you're going to be fresh. So you'll get, you'll get like a nice foundation for your business because I'm not, if you start a business and you don't know your brand, you're going to be frustrated. So it's best to just get that and get that solidified first and then allow the business to form as you as you get an understanding of what your brand is and who you're talking to. So it can work for either one. Yeah. Call, call. Can we get an in-person workshop sometime this year? 
I do want to do an in-person workshop and I feel like you're in my mind right now because I have that on my calendar. That is, uh, I plan to do, um, oh man, I don't know if I want to say it out loud just yet. I'm going a, I'm to a share it in Discord. <laughs> I'm going to share it in Discord because if I share it in there, I know you're invested and we can talk about it. <clears throat> we can talk about it because what I, what I want to do is like, you know, figure out where everybody is and what that might look like. Because uh, I would definitely love. I think it's time. It's definitely time. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you later. But yeah, in person is definitely a thing that I want to make happen this year. Um, and that really that really makes me happy because I, I miss being around people. Um, I'm not an introvert. I thought I was. Um, I'm not. Survey... Survey says that is a lie. Okay. I'm not, I really miss being around people. <laughs> so I, I, I'm excited for the in-person things. Um, and, and I forgot, me and Mr. James are going to be doing something soon. We're going to be doing something this year. And it's going to be an in-person thing. That's all I can tell y'all right now. And if y'all listen to J&J, J&J podcast... Y'all already know, like you already got a little piece of what we're going to do. So we have something coming up that's going to be an in-person, an in-person thing too. So I'm really excited about that when we, first, when we start like promoting that and everything. Um, so let's see, Ebony, Goddess Co said, what if you started a business and now rethinking everything, what do you recommend? If you started a business... <clears throat> And now you're rethinking it. It is probably because you didn't have a um, you 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 didn't have a clear vision for what you were doing when you started, and that's okay because sometimes we do start it with a, um we started because of like our our hobbies turn into businesses or our interests turn into businesses, but then at some point you know we realize wait that's not what I want to do, <laughs> that's not actually a business I want to have. Um, and so what I would recommend is you taking that step back and figuring out what your brand is again. That's a that's a brand issue because that is a, essentially like I don't know what to do now. Um, and I would also add to that if it it would also depend on what you're rethinking. And you said rethinking everything. So that means like all of it just it, all of it's not working out right now like it's all not coming together it's all not making sense that is a branding issue um but if there's like a particular thing that's not working like maybe your content is not working but you know what you want to do then that's a more like specific we need to figure out why your content isn't really resonating with people which is still connected to branding um because maybe you don't it doesn't feel authentic or maybe there's um some things you're not you're doing that are just not like they just don't really resonate with people or maybe you're not being clear about something like a marketing issue. So um, some of the more specific concerns um, can be pointed out. But if it's everything you need, it's a branding, it's a branding problem and you need to talk to somebody who does branding, who can help you figure out why you started your business in the first place. Kind of like get a detox from everything that you've been doing for a moment and um, like get refreshed on who you are, what you want to do, and who you want to serve, which is all branding. Cardi said, I'm an introvert, but I'm visual, so I need to be in person to learn better. Yep, you can just be be in there, but not really in there. Hey, Amber, hope you're still here. Um, yeah, that's a really good question. Those are These are really good questions, y'all. Thank you for asking. Um, if y'all know anything about business, you know that knowing people's questions and concerns is a huge thing. Like if you don't know what your people need or want, what their, what their problems are, you're going to be lost. Just lost. Just all just confused, confuddled, not just blown in the wind. <laughs> so, um, I love these questions. And if you have any more, um, I'm going to I feel like I keep I keep adding stuff. I keep adding stuff on that I gotta talk about. Uh put down a channel for what did I say, y'all? A channel for what now? 
um oh the challenge and a q and a channel but that can also be the general um let's see what do you do if you are a one man team hmm so if you are if you are doing it all by yourself um i would have to ask you what what um are you doing right now is your primary is your um top priority what you are like best at like what you're good at um and then are there some aspects of your business that maybe are not a priority right now that you are currently trying to maintain that are burning you out so like for me um i am really good at speaking i don't know if y'all can tell i can talk <laughs> i'm really good at speaking um and teaching people um motivating them and like like influencing like that like creating content especially when it's video content like this is my this is my sweet spot like i can talk and i can get people to where they need to go and so when it comes to my business there are some things that you'll see especially if you've gone through like business courses um or work with different coaches, business coaches, where you'll have things like sales pages, um, like lead generators, uh, which are, you know, different products to get people onto your email list or to your text list, whatever you have to um, communicate with people outside of social media. Um, you have graphic content, like, and I'm listing all of these things because these are all things that I don't like doing. And I am... I can do it, but it's not my strong suit and it takes me forever. Writing takes me forever. Like so me trying to write emails to people, y'all. No. Like no. And I know that email lists are important. I'll have your email, but I just can't guarantee I'll be talking to you like that on there. You know what I'm saying? Like I just I I'm not I'm not doing it. I, I, I'll send you like a quick two line email maybe, or I'll tell you, look, listen to this video where I can talk and say what I would type so much better. You know, um, but all of that to say that you may you may need to cut back on some of the things that you're doing right now. If they are not your zone of genius, if they're not the area where you excel, if they're not the thing that is like the the money maker about you, which for you, Evanor, I feel like yours is speaking. Um, so and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is because you're a coach, too. Right. So I think that yours would be yours would be speaking, but it takes too long. Graphic. OK, if graphics take too long, leave them alone or get um, there's other options, too, but. You either can cut it out or you can outsource it. And you can do that for cheap through like Fiverr. Um, what's the other one? It's another one. I maybe I maybe need to put that in the channel. But um it's places like Fiverr where you can hire um you can hire people to help you do specific tasks that you're not great at, um, administrative things. Um, you said working on a magazine, an ebook, but you're tired. Are you tired because you do your magazine, your ebook, and then you also have to promote it? Because that can be that can be a big thing too. Um, man, there's just so many ways to go about. It. There's so many different things you can do. I feel like that should be a whole topic. Evanor, you are really good at coming up with great questions because that's a really good one. Um, I'm gonna put that down. What to do? What to do when you're tired? Okay. Um, but another thing that I was thinking about too, is like with your, um, with your content, there's like this whole idea of having lazy content and lazy content is where you, you look at your life more as like documenting what you do as opposed to like making standalone content. So trying to record, record and edit it and, um, you know, get yourself in the right place and do your makeup for it and all the things that we do to kind of like get ourselves set up to create content. Um, you know, capture yourself working on the magazine is an idea or, you know, even like spending time with your family. If you're, if you're moving towards a lifestyle brand, 
Um, doing lives, doing more lives where you can just talk to people as opposed to trying to create content. And you can be going live working on what you're doing. You can go live um, and just talk because it's so much easier to just do this than to create a video saying what you got to say in, you know, one to three minutes. Uh, you know, you have options and they're going to vary depending on who you are and what you do, but you got to identify um, what is what is draining you the most. Oh, finally got it. What is draining you the most? What can you do with it? Do you need to get rid of it? Do you need to delegate it? Or do you need to, um, you know, switch up how you approach it? Is there a way to make it less work? So yes, I hope that that helps get like at least get your you know get some ideas going because that's the, those are the um the biggest things that you can do. Uh, let's see what else. Um, Cardi, you said I don't know anything about business, but because of my weight loss, God gave me this idea to create comfort. Oh my goodness, I didn't know you could do that. You can make the y'all. Did y'all know y'all can make the uh, captions bigger if you swipe. I did not know that. They're like so big now. I can see everything. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that just made me so excited. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know anything about business, but because of my weight loss, God gave me this idea to create comfort for plus size women. Yes. And that is a good point too. Some of us, we just knew we we're supposed to do it. That's all we know. I just know God told me to do this. And that's what I got. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to do with this. I don't know where to start with this. That is another good example of people who start with, start with the brand. I'm telling you now, start with the branding. Save yourself the heartache <laughs> so that you can make whatever God gave you make sense. And you can feel like you know where to start because starting a business can be so overwhelming because there's so much information and it can feel like there's so many different aspects to it that you could just go to sleep. <laughs> like you just look at it and you're like, no, I'm just gonna, mm -mm. like, that's how I feel sometimes. Again, it's like, I don't know where to start with this. I don't know what to do. Ah, ah, so many things. So, um, starting out with that is a really useful way, um, to just get it going. And then have your you have some clarity and then build on it. That's the thing that um, I want to leave y'all with too. Is that when you have your brand, it's like your foundation. Uh, I don't even want to say foundation. I want to say it's like the heart. It is because it is the heart. It's the heart. It starts. It starts in the center, right? And then it just expands and it grows. And it gets bigger and you add on things like, you know, you might start with, um, you might start with for me, hmm. oh, I have a friend, I'm going to use her. So my friend, she has a business where she's starting with candles. She has a candle business and she's doing journals. I think I can say that now. I don't know if she announced it yet. Oops. Oops, don't tell her I told y'all. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, well no, that's not even like that's like that's the that's the product that she has, but her business is about the um is about mental health for black women and black girls. So that's like her heart. That's the heart of what she does and what she wants to do. And that is expanding to candles and to journals. And then it's gonna keep expanding to, you know, podcasts, um, a YouTube show right? Keep on getting bigger, being a speaker, being a public, um, a public figure, having programs in schools for girls. Yeah. Like you see, like it just keeps going and, and, and growing from there and getting bigger and bigger, but it starts at the heart. It starts at the center, which is your brand. It is your identity. It is who you are, why you do what you do and who you want to serve. And then it just keeps on going from there. All of this starts to make more sense from that. So Jay said, I heard from a friend, um, but I'm never going to live to see it myself. You know, wait, what did you hear? What you talking about? Heard that from a friend, but I'm never going to live to see it for myself. Live to see it myself. What did you hear from your friend? 
I missed it. I'm sorry. Kari said, yeah, that's my argument. <clears throat> I don't know what to do, so I quit already. <laughs> but this year, we going forward. Got to make mama proud. Yes. Yes. Because she left some amazing things for all of y'all. Y'all are some amazing people. Your whole family. Y'all are just amazing people. Incredible. Like, such a good reflection of her. So, um, that's it, y'all. That's all I got. Um, yeah. So, if there aren't any more questions about it, um, if you go in Discord, you can ask me whatever you want to in there. Um, that's like the, the place where you can catch me off TikTok. Um, I love the space that we're making over there. And this is the last thing that I want to say before I get off, for real, for real is that the the discord the, the the channel is called for trendsetters only um and everyone in there is a trendsetter every person in there is a trendsetter and that community is so special to me because it is a, it is it is living proof it is a literally my example of something that I have tried to do for years years y'all like 2019 i think i even have it in my journal right now let me see if i can find it since 2019 i had this idea and i've tried to launch it so many different ways every year i'm like i just know i'm supposed to have a community i know i'm supposed to have a space for people i I've, I've tried i've tried to make it an app i've tried to make it into um a facebook group i've tried to launch it as like uh, um, a private, a private channel, a private group on what was it, Clubhouse? Hey, Kingdom Stylist, how are you doing? Um, I have tried to launch it in so many ways, and I every time it failed. Every single time it failed, and the, this this group is so important to me because it is it. I'm seeing it grow. Like we got to twenty over twenty people this week we made it to 20 which was a goal of mine to get to 20 i've never gotten that many people into a group like that ever in my life i've never done that and you would think with as many followers as i got on tiktok and all the engagement that i may have on my platforms, you would think oh jada that's easy that's nothing like how is it hard for you to do that and it was just because i was so scared to try again i was so scared to try again and tiktok was the place where i felt like I was good at what I do. Like it was it was validating in that sense. Like wow, I am impactful. I do it does matter. What I say does matter. And this group is is um a, a manifestation of that. Like I'm I like and I know it's going to keep growing because I got to 20 so I can go to 30. And 40 and 50 like you know I can keep going from there but it's just the fact that this time I didn't give up I didn't give up even though <laughs> even though every time I tried it did not work out um and I have my 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 business journal I have really been like trying to figure this out for a long time y'all uh a long time and so I'm I'm happy that I can help you do it in less time than what it took me. You're not next, you're now. I know that's right, Kingdom Stylist. Thank you. You're not next, you're now. And that sums up what I've been saying perfectly. Like, just, you know, just be, be bold enough to say, you know what? I am going to try again. I'm going to try it again. Because if you gave it to me, then that means it's, it's meant to happen. It's meant to happen. Here it is, y'all. I found it. And so it's going to be, you're probably not even going to really be able to uh, um, see like the what I'm talking about with it. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to, I'm trying to flip the, flip the, um, camera so that it oh oh my gosh I'm gonna figure it out y'all 
Jazzy. Hello, gorgeous. Mirror. Oh, wait, is it already mirrored? No, it's not. Oh, okay. You are now watching the video mirrored. Oh, crap. Oh, man. Okay. Is this backwards? Give me a thumbs. Give me a thumbs. Well, actually, give me a thumbs up if you can see this. Or a thumbs down. Flip it. God, duck. Okay. Put it together. Oh, I almost clicked off. Um, opposite. Okay. Now, is it good now? Lord. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. All right. So, all right, y'all. Look. So this was my first, this was my first like try at it. Um, and I was going to call it refashion studio or style studio. And um, I had all of these like grand plans for it. And y'all want to know why this didn't work? It's because I was thinking small. <laughs> I was thinking too small. I, need, I, I was not thinking big enough. I tried to make this um a fashion group i knew that i had to have a group and i tried to make it a fashion group and god was like it's not a fashion group because that's not all you're supposed to do that's not all you were created to do i want to do more with you but i was holding on i was like no fashion fashion that's what i do i'm a fashion person i don't want to talk about nothing else because nobody wants to hear me nobody cares what i have to say if it's not about clothes that's how i felt and so it didn't work. Lo and behold, I don't even think I really launched it for real. I think I tried to talk about it. it. Didn't work out. It was too small. So then I tried to do it again. And I tried to do it with just uh, with just like um, creatives. I'd call it creatives. Um, I think it's like soul care for creatives or something like that. Tried to group again. Still thinking too small. And you don't have the um, direction and the clarity for where this needs to go. You don't know where, you can't see where this is going. The vision was not clear. It was blurry. So it didn't work out again. And that was, this, that was 2019 when I wrote that. I tried it again in like 2020. 2021, um, I think I might've talked about it, but that, at that point I probably was just over it. 2022, I was fighting it super hard because I was like, no, every time I try, it does not work out. I don't want to do it again. And then at the end of 2022, he's like, try it and do it again. Try again. And so in September, I made the discord <laughs> and I didn't tell anybody about it. But, you know, I started it. Like, I, I was like, I was obedient. I did it. I started it. Um, and now we are at our 20. And I'm so grateful. Thank you for everybody who said congratulations because I talk about it because it is actually a very big deal for me. Um, it doesn't matter how many followers I have on any platform. The fact that people will go out of the way to be connected in that sense and they feel like they, like that community feel, it's like, it feels comfortable. They feel safe there. That's, that's, that's incredible to me. Someone even said that this is one of their favorite spaces for creatives. And that almost made me cry. Like, really? This space is, is making that much of an impact on people's lives. And so if that's how you feel, I see God is, you said, that's how I feel right now. Let me be your example. Yeah. And and I bet you it's because you don't you don't know what what to do with it just yet. You don't know where to go. You don't have clarity on what it looks like. You know you you know you're supposed to need one because everybody tells you you have a space to take people offline. You got to do this. You got to build your list. What you gonna do if if TikTok shuts down? You know all the fear mongering that people do, but it means nothing if you don't know what you're doing with it. It don't mean nothing. And you don't have any, you're not going to lose out on anything by taking a step back, getting clarity, getting a clear vision, and then moving forward again. You have, you only have, you can only win. You can only win 
from there. So um, that's good to know, Ebony, goddess codes, because if the if the group is something that you know you're supposed to have, then, um, you know, that can be a, a part of your product or service that you get at the end of the branding cohort, if that's what you decide to go through. So all of that, y'all, all of that is to say, like, please don't give up. Don't give up. Figure out what you missed the last time and just do something different to get the same result. There's, there's, always an, there's always another option. The only way it's not is if you're not meant to do it. But I, I just, I'm willing to bet that that's not the case. You just got to figure out what you didn't do last time, what you didn't have. How do I get what I need so I can feel comfortable and clear on the vision so I can run with it. I can go. And... I think it's going to be it's going to be an, like an acceleration. Hey, CC, it's good to see you. It's going to be an acceleration once you get that clarity. You're going to be focused. You're going to be clear. You're going to be determined, and your people are going to find you. I'm so grateful to find you too. I definitely know that God brought us together. You're stuck with me. <laughs> You're stuck with me. <clears throat> but yes, that's it, y'all. Um, I'm done for real. Make sure that if any of this has excited you or just gave you a little bit of like courage, I want you to take the next step and join the Discord. Just take that step. Get into the space where this is the conversation, where this is the norm. So that you are already being prepped to go even further and take that next step. And I'm excited to see y'all pop out with these brands, with this content, with these businesses. It's happening, y'all. It's happening. It's happening. I know it. So, yeah, that's it. I love you all so much. Yay. I love that, Ebony. Mm, that makes me so happy. <sighs> yes, I hope that th this being here tonight um, and just listening to this live, regardless of what your next steps are, I hope that it gave you some peace. It is going to give you um it's going to give you sweet sleep you're not going to be anxious up anxious and worried about tomorrow you're not going to be up anxious worried about what's next you're not going to be um you're not going to be discouraged you're not going to be tormented I believe that for y'all and oof, I'm not going to cry tonight, but I just know it's, I know that, that everybody on here is created to do something incredible and you almost gave up, but then you messed around and came on this live. <laughs> you messed around and found me and now you can't, now you can't run. Now you can't give up. It's going to happen. <sighs> okay. Thank you all for the gifts. Thank you all for rocking with me. I've had so much fun tonight. And I'm praying for you. I love you. I believe in you. You got this. And I will talk to y'all later. <laughs>